Hey guys, it's Wenji. Welcome back to the Reacti Fam. Now guys, we have been self-isolating for a long time. We've been at home. You may have felt an urge to get bangs. I know we all have. I know there's something about being stuck inside for a long time. No access to a hairdresser. Kind of getting bored. That makes you just want to do this. I can't blame them because I've done it. I don't know if you guys can see, I've got like little bangs from that bad decision. I've been posting pictures on my Instagram trying to convince myself whether bangs work for me. Max is not a fan. Some of you guys are a fan. Let me know. Luckily, it wasn't a disaster. The disaster I did during quarantine in terms of a beauty fail is dyeing my hair. It's very uneven. I'm not a professional hairdresser as you can tell, but I'm doing the best I can with what I have in quarantine. I have reintroduced myself to my box hair dye that we buy at the supermarket. I mean, it's not bad. It's just very blotchy. I have a lot of different colors in my hair. I'm waiting for the moment I can see my hairdresser again. But let's have a look at these other quarantine fails. Maybe it'll make me feel better. So this guy was trying his first buzz cut without checking how much battery the razor had left. Okay, I guess he uh, ran out of battery just halfway through his buzz cut. I mean, it is definitely a look. It's like, you know, when a man goes balding from the top first and then they just have this like little strip of hair around the side. He looks like he's balding. That's the haircut. It might be a new trend. Like recreate the balding look while you're still young. Maybe that's a thing. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if it was because the internet. But okay, I mean, this is probably not successful. I would literally just shave the rest of it off. It would probably look better. You know, there's some really good guy wig these days. You can, you can do it. So hubby needed a trim and we figured why not? How bad a job could I possibly do? Hashtag Corona cut, hashtag the horror. I would agree. This is definitely a bowl cut, but like it's a bowl that's like too small for your head. And like there's even like that line of the tan and where the hair was is like a weird tan line, which used to be hair, but is now very pale skin. Guys, like you have no idea how pale your skin can get underneath your hair. I mean, your hair be protecting your scalp from those nope. UV rays. Sometimes I wonder if scalp skin and real skin is the same skin. I know, question. Reminds me of Ralph from The Simpsons. I mean, he looks a bit like a cauliflower. I gotta say, like the, the shape of the hair. It's not as bad as the ones we've seen before. He's, he's doing okay. I mean, his facial hair kind of helps balance out. Like the top and bottom ratio is very similar. I love the caption. I'm reluctant to call what my wife did to me, a haircut. Here it is. Well done, wife. Another string to your bow. I mean, you love her, so you gotta forgive her, right? I've actually given a lot of my friends haircuts during my lifetime. I am honestly surprised that they let me. I actually did a decent job, not gonna lie. I have had some disasters and they're still my friends, so I'm glad. Thank you, I love you. Got my seven-year-old granddaughter to cut my hair. Okay, that, first of all, that is your first mistake. I guess looking this weird from behind, people are keeping two meters away. Okay, yeah, I guess looking strange is a way to naturally social distance other people from you. And yeah, this is definitely a horrific haircut. There is no evenness in that. I'm trying to see if it was intentional and you were trying to draw a pattern. It's kind of like a lawnmower just ran over your head. All right, so this is quarantine boredom over confidence and we get this. Oh my gosh, guys, like literally, even like tying your hair up and cutting it in front, I feel like you would do a better job than this. Are you sure you did didn't let your cat cut your hair because that's kind of what it looks like. I feel like even if I didn't try to cut my hair well, I couldn't get it this bad. Not trying to like, you know, I mean, I got some skills with the scissors. Oh, this one looks good from the front. But then we look at the mirror and guys, oh my gosh. What happened to that weird patch? Did the razor just go Voof. Okay, I mean, there's a clearing on your head, obviously. Is that a crop circle? Could be a crop circle. Did the aliens land on your head? Oh, hello, Coco. All right. This this guy, let's have a look. The first picture, I mean, second picture is looking good. Third picture, fourth picture. So today my partner learned that you shouldn't put up a haircut until the apocalypse when the only person left to do it is your girlfriend who has never ever trimmed her own ends. Yeah, guys, I mean, girlfriends are getting a bad name in this video. I feel like it's not too bad. It's just not style. That's all I'm gonna say. It's got hope. We've seen some worse ones. This one's got hope if you style it correctly. I'm literally being surrounded by cats jumping up on my chair. Coco, you want to come up on the table? All right. Oh my gosh, guys. Okay, we 
we've got Mr. Burns in the house. So my kiddo cut his hair yesterday, then agreed to let me have a little fun with it before we fixed it. Mr. Burns in the house. I don't know if you guys remember Mr. Burns, but this is definitely inspired by both his outfit and the hair. I mean, that's a really good costume. This guy definitely has a quarantine cut. Look at the little uneven edges and there's like a random little like really bold patch in the middle of the shaved side of his head. You know what? We're doing what we can, but you know, there are some instances where I feel like it's better off just not doing anything at all. Like let's just not even get haircuts. Let's see what happens when we go all natural and let things grow out. Maybe that's better than what we're seeing here. Okay, Boomba, he's trying to chew on some snacks. Oh, what happened here? Oh no, she burned her upper lip trying to wax the other day. Oh my gosh, this reminds me of Homer Simpson. I'm on a Simpsons run today. You know how he has that like dark brown? I don't actually know what it is. Is it like a mustache shadow? I don't know what it's supposed to be. Definitely Homer Simpson vibes and definitely would have been really painful burning your lip like that. I always, I'm so scared of hot wax guys. Like I always read the instructions like a hawk and make sure I don't put it longer than that. And then I like test a little bit on my finger. If my finger gets burnt, at least my face doesn't get burnt. So, you know, I feel your girl. It's not fun. I'm just letting my upper lip hair grow. Do not cut your husband's hair, no matter how much he begs you. Nothing good can happen, especially if you make him look like Mo from the Three Stooges. So maybe the reason why divorce rates are going up are because wives are cutting their husband's hair or vice versa. Who knows? We may have solved the mystery. Tried to cut my son's hair during quarantine. Now he's going to complain to the hotel manager. Oh no. I mean, it's not as bad as the other haircut. Like at first glance, it barely, at least there's no bold patches. I think the worst thing is having like patches of hair missing, but it ain't even guys. Call it like a side swept haircut. Oh, so this guy, I mean, there wasn't a lot of hair to begin with, but with the hair he did have, it ain't pretty. He used a beard trimmer to cut his hair. Bad idea guys. Given my man a quarantine fade. I mean, I feel like his self-confidence is gonna fade after this as opposed to his hair. It's better. I mean, our standards are very low right now. Guys, just let the hair grow. That, that's a lesson for today. I feel this. I've been indoors for a couple months and I'm dyeing my hair for the second time at 1 a.m. Guys, this is literally me. I would dye my hair at like 1 a.m. when I'm home. That's probably what Max's hands look like a lot of the time when he dyes his hair purple. Quite scary. Just don't walk out and like start waving your hands in front of people at 3 a.m. That, that's creepy. Oh, kid! Our son's hair was in a desperate need of a haircut during quarantine. Husband and I took a whack at it. We had to stop before it got worse. If there's anything, the kid looks kind of happy. I mean, he probably doesn't notice it looks bad. Luckily, he doesn't have to go to school, right? So that's fine. You'll just let it grow. Oh my gosh. This is my mother's attempt at a fade. Prayers to all the men getting home haircuts during quarantine. There's a distinct line. That's all I'm gonna say. There's definitely a patch there. It's like someone took a wax strip on the back of the head and just went it's fine. It's fine. You don't need to see anyone. Your family loves you. It's the perfect time to get a bad haircut right now, like out of any other time. No one, you ain't going to any events. That's all I'm gonna say. Nailed it. Sorry, babe. Oh my gosh. I feel like at this point, you should just shave the whole hair off. I don't know what to do in this situation. It looks like an L. What are you trying to say? I mean, this haircut looks kind of fuzzy. It feels soft. At least it's what I call textured. Oh, I feel you. This girl did her own acrylic nails since all the nail salons are closed. I mean, it's okay. This is the one thing I wanted open my nail salon. I stuck these nails on with super glue because I couldn't even find nail glue. So I literally used super glue to stick my nails on. We do what we gotta do. Luckily, I didn't have to paint my nails myself or they wouldn't look this good. All right, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed looking at these quarantine haircuts slash beauty fails. We all have them. We can all all relate. We've all probably got bangs by now. So yeah, let me know if you've done any of these down below or you've decided to dye your hair, do your own nails and how it turned out. I'll be back tomorrow with another episode and I'll see you guys then. Bye guys. Love you. Mwah.